Hey guys, so I found this neat out-of-bounds glitch while messing around in Destiny 2 the other day with some friends, and I figured I'd record a video of how to do it. I couldn't find anyone else who had, who had posted this one, so I thought, hey, maybe I'll be the first. Um, so, firstly, to get here, you're going to have to be... Uh, it's in the Lost Sector, the Orrery, which is in Artifact's Edge on Nessus. So you go through this. I've uh, gone through and cleared out all the enemies just so we don't have to watch me do that. But anyways, once you walk in through this passage, you'll find yourself here. And I will show you how to get out of bounds from here. There's a bit of parkour involved, so hopefully I don't embarrass myself too badly. And... Destiny 2, it turns out, is extremely unfriendly for video recording, so please forgive me if the quality is a little bad. Anyways, I'm going to uh, hop right on through and show you how to get out of bounds, and just some cool things that you can do once you've gotten out of bounds here. Uh, this isn't, like, game-breaking, it won't give you any advantage, but it's kind of neat you get to see, like, the skybox and kind of how... Destiny's put together. So now we're in the main room of the Orrery. You can see this like thing above us, and we're gonna have to do a little bit of jumping. First step is to get onto this pillar, uh, which is off on the side, and then we want to aim for this guy. Uh, as far as I know, this is doable with any class, but a couple of the tricks are pretty tough to do um, without the Warlock jump. Uh, I'm using, just so you know, uh, the airborne with strong initial boost of speed, uh, just because that gives you the furthest horizontal distance, which will be important later. Um, so once we've kind of worked our way up onto this thing, going to jam myself into this corner, and now I have to jump up onto this, which is one of the trickier jumps in this. Yeah, got it, uh, little thing. And then kind of running along this at full speed, you can jump over onto this guy. Oh, no! All right. All right. Well, I said I might embarrass myself, but we'll just try not to do that again. If this happens more than, uh... <laughs> more than once, I will just start over the recording, and then no one will ever know that I threw myself into the pit. Uh, some of these jumps are pretty easy, some of them are fairly tricky, so, you know, your mileage may vary. Uh, so now we're on this rotating thing, and we're just going to kind of wait for it to rotate us around, and then I'm going to leap and just get up onto the edge of this thing. Okay, so now we're up here, and this is where we can leave the map, once we're overlooking this thing on the ledge. It turns out, if you go over here... There's a hole, uh, and you can just crouch and walk right out of the map. And here we are, out of bounds, overlooking Nessus. You can see it's all, like, weird cubes uh, and some bizarre shit. Um, and I'm just going to take you on a quick tour of the outside of this, uh, this thing. Um, if we die here, so I guess I'll show you that. Uh, what will happen is we will fall forever, and you can see the entire Lost Sector is floating up there, along with, like, the skybox, the two suns. There was a sun there that disappears as you fall pretty far. Everything's kind of floating in the sky, and it's weird. Um, you can see the, like, day-night cycle is happening over there. Uh, died a little bit. And now respawning back outside the map. So the first step to kind of exploring around here is we're going to just jump off and land on this lower ledge, which gives us not really much of a better view, but kind of some fun differences here. We can walk around this thing. Uh, like I said, there's n no mechanical benefit to this, but it's kind of neat. I don't know what the hell this is, but it's right there. Um, and in fact, hopefully I don't fuck this up. I'm gonna whoop. No! Ah, uh, I slid off. If you land on that thing, which is in fact pathable, uh, there's some more jumps you can do. But every time you screw up, you get to fall through the entire skybox. You can see there's like four different moons. 
um, this like half a thing hanging in the air. Luckily, at least once you die, you start respawning. So I'm going to tap. There we go. So now I'm like sort of standing outside the boss sector. Going to edge my way over here because I need a running start because our goal is to jump to that thing. And this is the trickiest jump. Only warlocks can make this jump. Although my friends and I discovered a really cool way that hunters can make this jump. Um which I believe one of my friends will be posting a video of it uh, shortly, which I'll link to once that's up. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't do me like this. No, game. Okay, well, hopefully having touched that thing uh, will give us a bit of a landing. As you can see, I am by no means a, a Destiny parkour expert. Also, like, once you're out of bounds, all the surfaces are really um, weird. You, you like, bounce off of geometry in a way that you do. You don't uh, during the normal game. Oh, crap. Respawning me here? That's annoying. Normally, it respawns you at least here. On this thing. Uh, maybe I should just like jump off to get my spawn set here so I don't have to do that jump again. Uh, I think I may have gone a little bit early. No, okay, nice. So landing here. Now we're on this side of the thing. You can see that like when I walk in and out, uh, the day night cycle changes. Uh, you've got, like, the sun is right there, and actually from over, once we do a couple more jumps, I'll be able to jump into that, uh, light source, which is kind of fun. Just kind of jumping around up here, everything's weird and dark, because the, uh, the game is not sure whether it's day or night when you're out here in the skybox. So, like, from here, I think, yeah, I think it was from here, I can just jump into the sun. And you can see, like, we're, we're actually touching the game's um, light source. You can see up into the underside of the, uh, the Lost Sector. Oh, yeah, also, when you fire a gun from here, it looks very strange, because as you're falling, the bullets appear from way above you. Uh, that thing to our left there, uh, that I just respawned before you could look at it, is not solid, unfortunately. Um, I tried a, a what? yeah, that thing. I tried many times to get to that, but you can't jump to it, and even if you could, it's not solid. Like, I fired some grenades at it, and they go right through it. Uh, but over here, you can see the beginning of the Lost Sector, and actually, if we... I'll, I'll show you the door. Um, so there's this weird tree that's uh, sort of semi-pathable. And there's the door to the Lost Sector that we could just walk right back into. Um, since we're loaded, there still won't be enemies or anything. We're, we're like already loaded into that zone. Uh, but it, it will just bring us right back into the Lost Sector, and then we'll have to parkour again to get out of bounds again. And then over here, there's a hole that you can see through into the Lost Sector. You can, like, get some very strange effects going on, like, it doesn't exist, and then now it does. I can't move any further forwards. You can see me, like, trying to. The bullets don't go through this, but if someone was in here, they'd just see a cube, but they'd be able to see these flashes. We tested that. Uh, if I dance, you can see some very odd things happening to my cloak, because I'm sort of halfway in a texture. Um, let's see, what else is there? Oh yeah, it's sort of hard to get out of here because I'm actually inside a rock. Have to jump straight up. Uh, there's this area up here where you can't spectate dead people, which unfortunately I can't show you, but it does some very strange things, which, uh, to your camera. But mostly you can see, like, so there's all the, the skybox materials, there's the ship. Um, there's the sun, which we can punch.
Uh, there's whatever the hell that thing is. <laughs> There's another one of those over here. Uh, so anyways, um, I don't imagine they'll fix this. It doesn't look like it like breaks the game or anything. So by all means, go try it for yourself. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, this look at this weird Destiny glitch. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. Cheers.